Well, in yesterday's video, we made some marble and a mortar and pestle set, and today I thought we ought to take some more of that marble and make it into a rolling pin with a little stand. So stay tuned and see how fun and easy this project is. All right, for today's project, we are using some of this blue marble that we created in yesterday's video. Here's the mortar and pestle we made yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link for it up in the top corner of this video and also at the end of the video and in the blog, in the blog post that goes with this video. So plenty of opportunity to see how I made this marble. So we need a small piece of it and we need a couple of these fancy toothpicks that you can get different places. And what I did was I just took my, my cutter and I cut off just the decorative end part. Make sure I'm under camera. So we've got that. I've got two of those. Those are going to be our handles. And then I've got this piece of my marble. And I don't need quite that wide of a piece. I'm going to cut and try to pick a part that you like the way it looks. And be very careful rolling this because you don't want to lose that detail that you got when you made the marble. Now, if at any point your marble is too soft to work with, feel free to stick it into your freezer and get it nice and cold and that will make it a lot easier to work with. I'm just gonna make a cane. And like I said, being very careful to not push too hard, not get it, not lose that detail. Because we've got some beautiful detail in this. Now I'm going to cut one end nice and straight, and I'm rolling as I cut so that it remains round. And now I want to make this part of my rolling pin about an inch long. Now I made my cane, my snake, about approximately a quarter inch. You don't have to be exact. These rolling pins come in different sizes. So if yours is a little bit different size and you like how it looks, go with it. Now off to the side, I have the lid from my TLS, my translucent liquid Sculpey bottle. And I'm going to take the ends of these two toothpicks. Now it doesn't matter which end you have out and which you have inside. Just make sure you do the same on both ends of your rolling pin. So I think I'm going to put the end that I cut on the inside. So I'm going to dip this into some TLS because we're going to attach this to our rolling pin. And then I'm trying to stay under camera. Push this in. And push it in so that you have just enough for a handle. And it looks like my clay is a little on the soft side, so I may have to go stick this in the freezer before I can trim it up. Same thing on the other end, and we'll see how this looks. And that's going to distort your cane, your snake, just a little bit. Try and get them in pretty evenly. And Use your finger, kind of roll them out. And because there is quite a bit of translucent clay in our marble mixture, it is a very soft mixture. So it's not unusual to have to put these really soft clays into the freezer in order to work with them. And I'm going to. I'm going to go stick this in the freezer for about 15 or 20 minutes so it gets nice and solid. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how I finish trimming this up. All right, this has been in the freezer for about 15 minutes and it's quite a bit stiff, quite a bit more firm. It's still a little on the sticky side but I can at least work with it. And I will probably bring this up to my face off camera and get this really straight. But what you want to do is make sure you have those ends cut the way you want them. 
and that you have your handles where you want them. And once you are happy with how the ends look, and I'm like I said, I'm going to do a little neatening up off camera where I can get it up where I can see it better. Having it down where you guys can see, it's a little harder for me to get exactly the way I want it. Then I'm going to bake this, and that since this has a lot of Fimo in it, it needs to be baked a little lower temperature than if it was just Sculpey. So I'm going to bake this at about 225, 230 for a full 10 minutes, and when it is baked and cooled back to room temperature, we'll come back and go on to our next step. All right, I have my rolling pin baked and cooled off a bit. So now we're going to make the little wooden holder that this is going to sit in so it doesn't roll all over the kitchen in your dollhouse. So what I've done is I've cut three pieces of wood. One piece that is a piece of a just a standard craft stick, and then I kind of sanded down the edges just a little bit. Um, I probably could stand to do it a little more. I don't want it a lot wider than my rolling pin's diameter. So there's that. And then the same length, I have cut two pieces of the Slim Sticks from Hobby Lobby. A uh, skinny stick would work just fine, a coffee stirrer. And all of these are cut to about the same length as the rolling pin itself, not including the handles. So that when this sits on top of here, the handles will stick out, just like the real ones do. So what I'm going to do is I've got some glue over here off camera. I made a mess refilling my glue, so I've got glue all over everything this morning. And I am going to run a bead of glue with a toothpick right along that flat edge of that craft stick. And like I said, you can adjust the width of your craft stick if you want to to make it closer to the right size for your rolling pin. And yours might be a little bit different size than mine because we're not measuring these, we're just making them. And we can always sand that off and get it more even sized when we are done. Now I go ahead and put glue on one side of this. It doesn't matter which piece you put the glue on, whichever is easier. And now this glue will need to dry for a little bit. And once that's dry, we will come back and we will go ahead and get this kind of sanded off and get everything finished. All right, the glue on this has dried, so let's put a clear finish on just the marble portion of our um, rolling pin. And I am going to use some Satin Mod Podge again this week and a small brush. This is both the Mod Podge and the brush were sent to me by Plaid for use in making videos for you guys. So I'm just going to put a very light coat of the Satin Mod Podge on our marble portion of our rolling pin. And because it's a very thin coat, it won't take very long to dry. Just make sure that your rolling pin is room temperature when you do this. If it's warm, your Mod Podge doesn't dry correctly and then it can cause issues sometimes. So I am going to put this in a safe spot where it won't be touching and I will let it dry. When the Mod Podge is dry, we'll come back and we'll look at this in its little holder. All right, our Mod Podge has dried and our little rolling pin and its little stand are ready to go into the dollhouse kitchen or wherever else you would like to display yours. I really enjoyed making this. I love making marble from the from polymer clay. If you haven't seen that video, remember the links for that will be up in the iCard in the description or in the um, end screen and in the blog post. So lots of ways for you to find that video. It's also the the video that was right before this one on the channel. Um, be sure and check the blog post anyway. I'll have photos over there and uh, more information usually. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure and hit the like button. Leave me a comment. What kinds of things would you like to see in future videos? If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, be sure and hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. I want to thank you very much for watching today, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.